Army Hammer fell under major controversy last year when an ex-girlfriend of his shared some very serious allegations about him and their relationship. The accusations included everything from being emotionally manipulative to being a fan of the taste of human flesh. These claims weren't completely unfounded either as it would have been easy to brush them off as just way too bizarre to be real. The girlfriend provided screenshots of conversations that had taken place between the two that showed him saying everything that she had alleged. Another ex-girlfriend also spoke to an outlet and backed up the claims, saying that she had experienced very similar situations and heard the actor saying similar things to what had been originally accused. When this came out, he seemed to put a pause in his career, backing out of an upcoming film and saying, I'm not responding to these bullshit claims, but in light of the vicious and spurious online attacks against me, I cannot in good conscience leave my children for four months to shoot a film in the Dominican Republic. The girlfriend eventually ended up coming out publicly in a press conference after having originally used an anonymous account. She recounted her experiences in detail and a full LAPD investigation was launched into the once well regarded and clean cut actor. When Casey heard about what had happened, she said that she wasn't even really sure shocked because the Hammer family has always had a historic cycle of suffering mistreatment and then becoming the monster themselves. Her saying, I wasn't shocked when the allegations came forward. Based on my experiences in my family, I suffered from it's just a way of life. You don't wake up one day and become a monster. It's learned behavior. Once the allegations started unfolding, I was like, here we go. Another hammer man and something that's being said about them. As shocking as what he's doing right now, there's a generational pattern that's been in play for a very long time that no one took notice of. It just didn't start there. It goes way back. She also said that she was disappointed in how the media seemed to focus on Hammer for the majority of the story, saying, the focus seemed to be about Army being a flesh enjoyer or what was going to happen to his career or cancel culture. But it's like, wait a minute, let's shift the light onto the victims. What about the people that are scarred for life because of all that happened? She says that this is going to be her goal with the upcoming three episode docuseries called House of Hammer, which will be premiering on September 2nd on the platform Discovery Plus. The show is going to start with the allegations laid against Army and will even have sit down interviews with a few of his victims. It is then going to look at the larger scope of things and go through the entire family tree that is supposedly filled with pretty bad actions and crime. Casey also opened up more about how the Hammer family is raised and why she believes the cycle of mistreatment is so prevalent, saying, It was all I knew. Back then, you didn't have social media, so you just thought this was the way normal, rich, famous, wealthy people acted in Los Angeles. Behind closed doors, it was a free-for-all. Once you walked outside, my grandfather controlled the narrative. As long as you didn't embarrass him, were camera ready, and acted a certain way, you were fine. If you did anything to mess up, you were threatened with punishments and being disowned. American actor Army Hammer fell under major controversy last year when an ex-girlfriend of his shared some very serious allegations about him and their relationship. The accusations include everything from being being emotionally manipulative to being a fan of the taste of human flesh. These claims weren't completely unfounded either, as it would have been easy to brush them off as just way too bizarre to be real. The girlfriend provided screenshots of conversations that had taken place between the two that showed him saying everything that she had alleged. Another ex-girlfriend also spoke to an outlet and backed up the claims, saying that she had experienced very similar situations and heard the actor saying similar things to what had been accused. Used. When this came out, he seemed to put a pause in his career, backing out of an upcoming film and saying, I'm not responding to these bull claims, but in light of the vicious and spurious online attacks against me, I cannot in good conscience now leave my children for four months to shoot a film in the Dominican Republic. As it turns out, he wasn't on his own in the situation, and he actually received support from Iron Man star Robert Downey Jr. RDJ, who has had his own battles with scandals and addiction, was confirmed to have paid for Hammer to spend six months in a Florida rehabilitation facility called The Guest House. The website for the treatment
management facility says they cater in particular to clients who have high stress or high visibility lifestyles, such as business executives, politicians, and entertainment professionals. And Army Hammer definitely applies to that group. Last year, when the story first broke, it was mentioned by multiple people that there was apparently unresolved trauma in Army Hammer's past, and that he had various substance misuse issues. A close friend said, Everyone looks at Army thinking that he's had some sort of privileged life, and that must mean there were no problems in his youth and everything was peachy keen. But that's not necessarily the way things go. Just because you come from an upbringing where financial resources are plentiful doesn't mean life isn't without problems. He completed his rehab journey last December and started living low key in the Caymans, working on recovery and spending time with his family. He was apparently also supported by his estranged wife, Elizabeth Chambers. Unfortunately, his relaxing stay was interrupted when a tweet came out that caused his name to make headlines once again. The tweet read, My friend's parents went on vacation in the Cayman Islands and Army Hammer was their concierge. I'm still not over it. Outlets reporting that he was working as a timeshare salesman. His attorney responded to the claims by saying, I can't confirm or deny the report because Army hasn't addressed it. I just think it's that if he is selling timeshares, the media is shaming him for having a normal job. A source said that after this went down, he apparently returned with his children to Los Angeles, staying in a home provided by Robert Downey Jr. and attending AA meetings. He was also apparently providing him with financial assistance until he was able to get back on his feet. Hammer has previously spoken out about how he is proud of having financial independence from his family, but in 2017 said that he was so broke he couldn't even pay pay out the result of a bet with a friend, saying, it would literally bankrupt me and I need to buy diapers tomorrow. People believe that the reason Robert Downey Jr. has been so helpful and supportive of Army Hammer is due to his own struggles in the past. In the 90s, he was arrested after being found with multiple illegal substances and subsequently was checked into rehab, only to break out. After spending time in jail and another arrest in 2001, he went back to rehab again. At his lowest point, he was described as as homeless, nearly bankrupt, and virtually unemployable. Fortunately, he found support in another famous Hollywood actor, Mel Gibson, who saw him as a flawed person, like everyone else, with incredible potential. Thanks to the support he received, Downey went on to sign an expensive deal with Marvel and start the career that most of us recognize him for. As of right now, it appears that Army Hammer is still in the process of getting back on his feet and trying to recover his financial situation with the help of RDJ. Army Hammer, the actor known for roles in Call Me By Your Name, The Social Network, The Lone Ranger, and The Man From U.N.C.L.E. has been going through a bit of a career holdup since January of 2021. After, it came to light that he may be into some rather unsavory sexual fantasies, including two women who have messages from the actor saying he wanted to take their ribs out and put them on the barbie and then eat them presumably with some barbecue sauce. I shouldn't joke, that is pretty serious. But something a bit more serious would be the accusations of the actor cutting the letter A into a woman's thigh. It's stuff like this, as well as cheating on and separating from his wife Elizabeth Chambers, that presumably led to the actor trying to chill out and go to the rehab for treatment in May of last year, and then after emerging in December, retreating to the Cayman Islands. About a year since his retreat to the Cayman Islands, the 35 year old actor has recently been spotted at the Moritz Resort office, wearing a blue polo shirt and going over pricing for a unit with a couple of potential buyers. During the pitch, he reportedly offered the potential buyers a timeshare for $2,020 per week or $21,000 for 10 years of vacations. Pics of the actor on June 29th show him possibly arriving to work in uniform at the office with a clean shaven look and the same blue polo shirt with formal navy blue pants. A tweet that has since gone viral and then been deleted showed the actor's face on a pamphlet as a concierge for the hotel. It included discount vouchers and advertised that Hammond would take guests to swim with wild turtles and point them to the best snorkeling and diving spots. The tweet itself read, quote, My friend's parents went on vacation in the Cayman Islands and Army Hammer was their concierge. End quote. Hammer's lawyer, Andrew Brettler, has since said that the pamphlet was simply a prank and a joke made by some of the actor's friends at the hotel. He has also denied the claims that the actor is actually working as a timeshare salesman at the resort. Now, the director of sales at the resort, Christopher Butcher, has also denied these claims. He told the Daily Beast that that quote, Hammer lives in Grand Cayman. One of my staff plays golf with him and he had come in just to spend the day with one of my staff members to see what we do, end quote. But he did leave the job opportunity open for the actor considering, quote, it's generated this much publicity, 
then maybe. I don't know if it's necessarily the kind of publicity you want, but hey, I just work here. I don't know. On the other hand, according to a timeshare resident who spoke with TMZ, Hammer has been in the office for a few hours a day and has been seen taking smoke breaks. The witness also said that Army showed a family around a timeshare on the resort, but again, Army does have a friend who works there and may simply be helping out in his spare time. Just stay away from the barbecues. To add to the whole scandal side of things though, a Discovery Plus and ID original series covering a few true crime specials is coming out with one special titled House of Hammer that is specifically centered on crimes and scandals that involve the Hammer family. Army himself is the great grandson of Armand Hammer, an incredibly wealthy oil tycoon. The show will go into quote, a dysfunctional dynasty with its male characters exhibiting all the devastating consequences of privilege gone wild, end quote. In a Vanity Fair expo in March 2021, the odd and dark past of the family was talked about. The expose claimed many of the men going back five generations have been known to have a dark side. Quote unquote. Back to modern times though, it is unclear whether Army has actually left Hollywood for a career in hospitality, if he's doing research for a possible role, or if he is in fact just helping out a friend. But he is certainly doing something there. 